this is an incredible story, and we're going to be joined by someone on the plane who actually is the only reason we seem to even know this happened, about this sudden dive and this, uh, this near collision. What happened? What we now know, based on information from the NTSB, as you just stated there, these two planes, they were on, they were assigned to these altitudes. So they didn't move there on their own. They were told by air traffic control to, uh, to essentially climb to the altitudes that they were at. Uh, sources are telling me that this is an indication that this was a mess up by air traffic controllers, essentially telling the planes where to go, and they did, and essentially they were on this course here where they could have potentially uh, collided mid-air. And of course, that would have been a very bad situation. We're talking about two planes traveling perhaps at around roughly 500 miles per hour. We do know that they were about eight miles apart. So at that rate, they could have been on top of each other within seconds, Erin. Just to reset what happened here, we know that it was United Airlines Flight 1205. It was going from Hawaii and going to California. It was 33,000 feet midair over the Pacific wow. when there was that alert. The collision alert system went off inside of the pilot's cockpit, warning that something was wrong. At that moment, within 60 seconds, that plane dropped some 600 feet. And boy, the people on board, they felt it. They got the scare of their lives. Uh, yeah. And now we know, Aaron, that it was because air traffic control assigned them to those altitudes. Assigned them to the same altitude. Incredible. Renee Mark. Thank you very much. And I want to bring in Kevin Townsend now. He was on that flight. He wrote about his near-death experience in an essay called Two Weeks Ago I Almost Died in the Deadliest Plane Crash Ever. He joins me now on the phone. Kevin, uh, look, your, your essay is, is impossible to not read. If it weren't for you, they may not have looked into this and found out exactly what happened. But you tell me, you're, you're cruising along at 33,000 feet. This is when you're, you're about to eat, you're, you're watching your movie, and what happened? Well, out of nowhere, uh, the plane just took this sudden dive. We, we dropped about 600 feet, and it was incredibly violent. It was very scary. Uh, it was over incredibly quickly, and uh, there, there was really no indication of this. It was a cloudless sky. None of us expected it. Uh, it was shocking. I mean, were, was, were things flying around? I mean, how dramatic? I mean, I can only imagine how terrifying that would be, but how dramatic was it? I mean, I, I know you said you could hear things breaking. Well, it was, it was shortly after we'd finished our ascent to cruising altitude, so we were only at cruising altitude a little bit. The fastened seatbelt sign was off, but I don't recall any passengers being in the aisle. Uh, people started screaming. There were unsecured things that started falling, but uh, thankfully no one was bounced around.